Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, let's get situated here today. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm on two shows at, at the same day, and I was last week, too. <laughs> so this is a regular thing that works for me. Works for me. Triple Seven says, wow, must be exciting to be on TV. It is. I love live TV. You always come across as the smartest person in the show. Thank you, Triple Seven. Uh, we are talking about that last night in the webinar. I, actually, everything I've said on TV has been accurate as far as the market and stocks, which is really terrific. Really, really terrific. So, um, it's going to have to be a short day here for me. So, as far as trading goes, I do like win, but I don't know if this is going to set up immediately. I do think this could go today. It, it's not like good enough though to be aggressive. I'm not saying we don't do it, but I'm saying the rating tells me possibly not aggressive or early. Tear I do like, but it's very, very hard to trade. <laughs> so, uh, you know, after contending with the one from yesterday, this is whippy. I'm mean, just familiar with the stock, it's very whippy. So I'm torn here uh, because of the fact that set up early. CHKP, I did not rate. I don't like this better than the other two. Should I do this? Let's just let's just go with this. Let's just go with the rating. It's this isn't easy to trade though. It's going right now. So let's let's watch tear. And if you're here for the for the open house, I just watch and observe. We'll go over everything later. Um, targets thirty six on this. It it is spreading. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put. No, I'm not even gonna watch that at the same time. It's gonna take all my concentration. If for some reason this doesn't set up right away, I'll flip to win. But I don't. I think win works, but I don't think it may work immediately. So let's watch tear. The only possible immediate play would be this. CHKP, you gotta give a rally. I'll go look at that if for some reason this doesn't set up, but I don't like that better than these. I already looked at that one, Galahad. I don't like it better than these either. I tried to narrow it down to the, the two that I like the best, which is tear and win. The fact that this is spreading, the fact that it's hard to trade is something you wouldn't know unless you traded it before. Or I'm just telling you, it's not, I mean, I'm just letting you know. <clears throat> we won't have time to go over the market today. Let's let the markets do its thing. Who's still in the market put? I know Turtle emailed me he was. Who's still in the market put? Briscoe is. Wow. Good job. Really good job, some of you. Dubaz, I saw you got out. Shower Singer's in it. You're probably going to have to hold it. Till the end of the week. Just FYI, those of you who are in the market put, I would not exit it today unless we have a massive drop today. You're probably gonna have to hold it for the next couple of days, which could be crazy. It's a good trade, and it could be an even bigger trade. Here, tear isn't open yet, so let's just see. Look at win. want to open then it doesn't want to open okay I don't see anything happening in this that's really is it me or what oh there Nothing there either. All right, then it wasn't me. Wow, look at this. This is just 
Look at that spread. That's crazy. It's crazy based on the volume. Oh, my Lanta. I'm not even sure if this is really the open based on the volume. So just let this kind of trade out here. I'm not calling any trades in this here yet. I don't think there's anything actually right now to be aggressive in now that that opened late. Pair is open, you are right. I'm flipping back to win. No one should be doing anything yet. I haven't even called anything yet. No one should be doing anything yet at all. on your butts. <laughs> Sit on your butts. Okay, 185 is the low. Just gonna watch this a little bit. Nothing here. This is trying to flip and that opened very late. This is, I don't even know if this is gonna work right now. The market's gonna drop. All right, let's, we gotta decide what we're doing here. And we don't have a whole lot of time, but we have some time. Okay, I'm gonna call win here. And the reason is because the stop's gonna be just as big as the other one and has a bigger target. So let's do, if this sets up, Ninety nine by seventy five. Ninety nine by seventy five win. Ninety nine by seventy five win. And this is not, 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 not a small stop. But the other one's going to be big too. This has not hit yet. Ninety nine by seventy five should hold us in. Win. Pair might be going too. I can't look at both at the same time. In fact, let's do 20. 20 by 75 if it hits win. No, let's wait till, let's wait till, let's wait till 99. No. Just wait. I'll tell you when. Twenty is good. Might be going. If it goes and we if this doesn't hit, then we don't we're not doing anything probably. <sighs> well, you gotta wait. Gotta wait. Okay, Tara's going, and, and this went. And I was waiting for when it hasn't broken yet. I did not call this. If you did it on your own, you know how to do it. It's going. It's going, but the, I chose to watch the other one, and if it doesn't hit, then I'm not going to get anything today.
Here, we can do not, here. Here, you can do it now. You can do it now if you want it. You don't have to wait till 99. Do it and get in it. Put the stop in at 75. Here, win. Win, win if you want it. Or wait till it gets 99 if you want. And let me just look here. Oops. Okay, here, 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 here. Targets, I didn't even give you the targets. First target's really got to be, I guess, I really think this could get to 180. 180 is realistic today, and I don't know if you want to hold it to there. Actually, crap, it just hit 184. Wow, we could have got out of some there. I did not. So we got, we got to pay attention to this now. Make sure the stop is in. Win. In fact, I have an early day. So let's see if we, let's just follow this through with me if you want a quick trade. Follow this through. I can't look away now. If anyone's writing questions, it's too late. You, if you didn't get the trade, you didn't get it. It's too late. Let's see if win breaks 184. <laughs> Did not expect that to happen so fast, but we got it good. Here, win, 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 win. Come on. Tear is going. Tear is going. Tear is going. Who did tear? I didn't call anything in tear. And now I'm in this, and I hope it holds. It's wild, though. We I, Let me just make sure we gave this plenty of room. We did, Here, we're going to get out of this soon. Here, win. Win is wild. Win is wild. Jabot's got tear. Brad got tear. Trend Trader got tear. Here, win. Win under 184, wherever it falls. I'm out. Quick trade. And tear was good, too. We could have done them both. Just two... Too hard to do two things at the same time today. And also, this is really trading kind of wild here. Here. A couple people did get the tear. Here, here, win! That's it. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm not taking any chances. Here. It looks great. I've got to be done early today. I'm on TV. That was a move. This is trading so crazy. If you're still in it, you'll be in it all day. I, where I told you to put the stop, you could be in this all day. 180. I'm out. I'm done. I'm not going to suffer through this, another thing like that. Just be careful. Be very careful. It's wild. In fact, I'm going to tell you right now, this will be wild until it breaks at 182. So if you can hang on to get it down to 182, uh, you'll get a full-on nice move, like a swift. This was this is probably going to keep doing things like that because pe some people are trying to buy it, some people are trying to sell it. It's been a good month. I'm not taking any chances here today, and I have to get out early. Here, tear, 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 tear. I will explain everything and win. And Koala Bear, I don't know what you did here at all. I have no idea what you did. And if you didn't understand the trade, Koala Bear, you should not have taken it. You shouldn't have taken it. You put the stop at the wrong place. You should never have done it. You put it at the wrong place. And I see your question up from earlier. You should. You can't do the trades if you don't know how to do them. Here, win is going at 183. Who's still in it? Here, 182. Win. Well, I got out a little bit early, but this tail was ugly. The stop should have been 186.75, Koala Bear. Not 185.75. Mm-mm. You had it down too low. The trade worked. But it, it until it hits under 182. Who's still in this, by the way? All right, let's look at this. You had to stop at the wrong place, Koala you got to be able to look at the numbers. And if you don't know it, don't do the trade. You took a stop unnecessarily. Um, I, don't, I'm not under, I don't understand why you even thought that was a stop. We'll go back and look at that in a minute. Let's just see if maybe we could do a scalpy thing in this. For those of you that did it, though, you had a nice move. Where did it go? It was more than a buck. Yeah, win was a great call. I didn't expect it to be that crazy, though. Here, let's watch us a little bit in here. This probably has to back up, though. Market's red. Market's red, 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 red. Maybe I'll do my nails red tonight. Here it goes. Everything's dropping. Koala Bear, I'm not sure what, oh my God, here, look. I got out of this way too early. <laughs> I don't even care. It's a green day on TV. There it goes, under 182. Who's still in it? 181.55. Woo. 
Koala Bear, why would you think the stop would be 185.75? Like, where would you have gotten that? How would you even have found that number? Why would you even thought that that would hold? Look at the spread in this. Just look at the spread. It's 50 cents right now. And honestly, you're here long enough. You should know. You shouldn't do the trade if you don't know how to put it. You took an unnecessary loss today. That's very upsetting. Very upsetting. Here, tear if you want to scalp it. I'm passing. You could quick short this right in here. It's late, but you could put this up at 36.25. It's a buck. It's a buck, but this could go all the way down to 32 today. This stock can rock and roll. I'm going to pass. I made money. Quick trade and win. That's what I wanted. I could have called them both. We could have done them both. I liked them both, and I was right on both of them. Yay. Such a great eye. Let's look at CK or whatever the heck it was that Gala had liked. Nope, didn't do anything here. What was another one this morning? I looked at EW. No, this is a piece of crap. What was the other one? RVG. Oh my God, I picked the good ones. All right. Oh my, see, this is what I didn't want to happen, but I hopefully everybody got out. Hopefully everybody got out of this. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't have gotten out of this. I don't know why you wouldn't have got out of this here. This is insane. It's really good. Here, this is still trying to go. You really could short this here. It's very late. It's a dollar stop. Put a stop at 36.25 should hold you in. It could bounce at 35 though. You could scalp it. Koala Bear, if you want to do that to try to get something back on the day, I'm not sure why you put the stop there at all. I really am not sure. Here, here it goes. Here it goes, tear. It's a dollar stop. Just short it here and size yourself that way. And if you think about it for one more second, don't do it. And if you made money and win, don't do it at all. There's no reason to do anything else if you made money and win. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. My nice calls here today and everything around. So this was, we probably would have done this. We probably would have done this. Here it goes. If this hadn't had opened on time, which it did not. So when it didn't, then I just moved off to win. I, I need a quick trade, quick trade today, and I got it. Um, this, I did not like this. Here's the open. I really think this is the open. And be careful here for a 35. If it doesn't break it, just scalp it out for 20 cents or whatever. I mean, I still think this breaks this today, but it could reset up again. Bar by bar right here. See if it breaks 35 or take it. If anybody's still in it, it could bounce in here. It's been dropping since it opened. 945. They were all good. Let's look at IBM. This should have another fall today if anybody's still in this. I'm not sure if anyone is. Let's look at everything. And then we'll go over the trade and then we're done for the day. 9.43, plenty of time. All right, Amazon is falling. Oh my lentia. So I'm not gonna call any new options here because of Facebook out tonight. I don't think that's a good idea. But, It is tempting. Google's gonna break a thousand. Google will break a thousand. What a great read in the market. So proud of those of you that held the spy put. It's out till May 4th. It's at the strike almost. It's gonna get there today. Wow. What is everybody up in this that's still in it? Frisco. I mean, you know, you did what you did with it, those of you that were in it. I mean, just incredible call. It's going to be a bigger call than I thought. Okay, so when is everybody out of this? Tear, is anybody still in this? Tear is going to try to break 35. I said bar by bar it. Bar by bar by bar by bar. bar. Don't let this get away from you. Trend trader still in it. Brad's still in it. Shower Singer's up 660 in this buy. So where are you going to get out? Chris goes up 113%. Koala Bear's in tear, thank God. I have no idea, Koala Bear, why you thought the stop would hold there at, for win. I just don't. Here, watch it. Make sure it doesn't bounce against you. Let's see what else is going on here today, and then we're done. It's not bouncing. Look at that tear. It's not bouncing at all.
All right, does anyone have any questions? Here, it's bouncing now. Now, girl says, you know, TV, thanks for the great call. You're welcome. Trend trader, what are you doing with your life? Are you in the option for the market? All right, ask me now any questions here. I'll give you people a couple more minutes of my time. Great morning, quick morning, um, good morning. I got out of this a little early, but after this far, I was like, woo. So I got out of this a little early, and then it did this massive drop in here. Again, would have been hard here really to, you know, I mean, this is, look at the size of the bar. But actually, from the entry in here all the way down, that's crazy. It's almost four dollars, three and a half bucks. If you did get out of this in this tail, it was just a really, really nice move. Galahad is probably annoyed he did not hold the market option, but these are tough lessons. These are tough lessons, and I don't know when you're going to start listening to me. I don't know. Maybe you'll maybe you'll start listening to me today. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe maybe before 2020. <laughs> One day, Galahad will wake up in the morning. Eureka! Melissa knows what she's talking about, and I'm not going to listen to any of these other things besides what she says. Mimi, explain, explain what, Mimi? Did you do it or not? We shorted, win, made the call, anywhere in here, wherever you got it. Okay, this was very spready. Got the drop, and wherever you got out in here. Did you do it or not, Mimi? I knew this would be hard today. It actually set up faster than I thought. Um, no guarantee this gets down to this area. No guarantee, and it did break weight 182, and it had a big bounce. If the market continues red today, this could continue down to 180. That's the next level you want to watch. I mean, you know, this could continue lower past today depending what the market does but i thought that would not be as fast um tear just looks amazing tear is tearing it up to the downside the stop in here you must know what stock i'm watching you must know the chart and mimi you learned this i know you're new but koala bear put it at the wrong place koala bear put it here there's no way that would have held and it didn't hold the stop was over here you have to give this a cushion. It, I mean, at one point, the spread was 50 cents. It's, it's still around 50 cents. Look at it. This is the difference between the ask and the bid. Look at that. You have to give this a cushion. There it is. That's 43 cents right in there. But it's $182 stock. Koala Bear, I hope that you learned something from this today. And also, if you're not sure of the entry, and I don't see what you've written it, I can't look over there when I'm watching something like this, then you gotta just pass. Don't do the trade. Charisir is asking me what exit supply puts today. N no, not unless we have a huge massive drop. So I did talk about this a little bit earlier. I'll talk about this right now. Where would your exit be for the spy? You'd have to hold it. You're chancing it that Facebook would have good earnings and the market would gap up tomorrow morning. That's the risk you take. It's the same risk as holding it through the Google earnings on Friday on Monday night. Galahad was not willing to take the risk. I think a lot of you were and did, except for him. Bottom line is that you're taking a chance. You're up in this now. You're up in it. Nice profit. Yes, it's 100% you know, return on investment. You could exit it here, be happy with your life, or you're gonna, or you're gonna run it on out and see what happens because you think it's lower and you got the time. You got the time. You got more than one week. We got not only Facebook tonight. We got Amazon and Microsoft Thursday night. So the exit on this, unless we run huge, massive, massive red today, 255 if we get there today, you could take the trade out. $5 for the strike, that would be an incredible trade. But I don't know if that happens. I'm telling you what you want to wait for is the break of all this support. If you can do that, if you've got the guts, if you got the guts to do it, try to hang on. If you don't care and are happy with the money you're up and don't have the guts, meaning that the whole trade could go bunk, because if for some reason Facebook gaps up on, and holds and rallies on the earnings tonight, and so does Amazon tomorrow night, the market could totally flip around. I do not think that happens. I don't think everything reports well, and I don't think everything gaps up. And I said that last week on TV. I said everything, in fact, I said it on Charles' show, on mine tonight. I said everything has to do it. 
Everything has to do it. Well, everything didn't do it already Monday night. Google didn't do it. That's it. Boom. Everything didn't do it because Google already didn't do it. So whether Facebook gaps up and rallies, whether Amazon gaps up and rallies, there's nothing saving this now. So that's why this is a good hold. It looks even better than before. But know that you may be up less than you're up right now. Or the whole trade could go bunk in the next two days because you'll run out of time if it goes, if you have to carry it into the next week. But you still got more than a week. Don't ever risk more than you're, you can afford to lose. And if you believe in the trade, then hold it. Galahad obviously did not believe in the trade and he killed it on Monday. You want to wait for the big move. The big move is under 255, the break of support in here, and this will be broken. 100% conviction that this will be broken, and I don't can't tell you the exact second, moment, minute, in time that this will happen. This level will be broken. I saw it. I saw it early. But better to see trades or moves of stocks early than late, which, you know, we've talked about before. You want me to see them late? It's too late. Then everybody sees it. So I see the moves early. So you take the trades, and you and you got you to gotta follow through with them. You just got it. You got you got to follow through them. And that, this actually was never down fifty percent. It was down. It was down yesterday morning, and then it was huge in the profit. But if you couldn't hold it through Monday or being down yesterday morning, Monday and Tuesday morning, then you missed a great trade. And some people did, and they already emailed me about it. But I mean, that's why you put the risk on. You got to let the trade play out. But if you were going by the fifty percent uh, rule, you never exited this trade. So some of you are not really even doing that. I I don't know. Snap, what are you doing with Snap, Brad? And did you learn how to use stops? Please write in the room that you did because you traded today. You had one job in your life. No one Snap. Snap is falling, but we're not shorting this here. Why? Someone tell Brad why we're not going to short Snap. Is Tear still good? Tear is good for the rest of the day, but you can't short this here. Wait for the 15 minute. Wait for, wait an hour, two hours. You can't go back into this here. Um, Mimi is asking again about when. You tell me, if the entry is 184.99-ish and the stop is 186.75-ish, you tell me. And again, you got to be able to figure that, this out in your head or you have a calculator next to you. 185.675 minus 184, and I just say 185 because you rough it. You just rough it. It's a buck 75. So if you took a thousand shares, it was seventeen fifty. If you took a hundred shares, it was one hundred seventy-five dollars. Okay, people are talking about Snap for some reason. No, Snap didn't gap. What's what are you playing here? Just you're trend trading this. If you're shorting it lower, the stock didn't gap. We don't we don't do this. We trade gaps. That's why we do so well. The fact that this is falling, the fact you could have shorted it. I don't care. The stock closed last night at 15.63 and opened in the morning at 15.62. This didn't gap. It opened neutral and just dropped. It's dropping with the market and everything else. And I expect everything to drop today. So let me just give a quick look at everything here. Apple's green. If you're still in tear, then you must think it's going to some sick number because that was a big move. It's 10 o'clock. I don't know why you're still in it. You could reset up and take it. I would have gotten out. I don't know why anyone's still in it. Tear is not going to hold that stop where I just gave you on that trade all day. Win will. Win will not go over the high of the day. So you can be in win all day if you want, where I told you to put the stop at 186.75, not tear. Apple is green, which is unusual. Let's look at everything here so I can get an eye on everything. Brad is out of tear. Mimi, Mimi, you and Koala Bear were best friends today because he didn't know that either. So if you don't, if you're not sure, you can ask me if I see it in the room, I'll answer. But if I don't, then you're not going to get the trade. And today I was so focused like a laser. And I didn't see it until it was too late. Here, Netflix is falling. But you, if just common sense, common sense says to you that that would have been too tight of a stop, which is what I was pointing out to Koala Bear. Why? When it's expensive, it's almost $200. And also, um, you know, it just there would be no reason to put a stop at that point. There would be no reason to think to even put a stop here. Look at how wild this is. This is going to set up again, but this is crazy town. Phew, I'm glad we're out. Tear is rallying, and is anyone still in this? Because you shouldn't be. Um, all right, let's look what's out for tonight. Good, solid day today. Fast day, exactly what we wanted. And nothing was really very obvious. The only thing that was obvious was the market to me. 
You want the big move in the market, you're going to wait for the break of 255. And then you're going to have a massive trade. Could be a 10 hour trade. If you don't, if you're not in it, you missed it. If you, if you want to get out of it today, you have a beautiful trade. I mean, there's no downside here unless you killed it like Galahad. The only downside is you killed the trade and didn't have conviction. Um, PayPal earnings, is that out soon? Here, I just got to think about that. What is this? All right, I have to look at everything that's out tonight. Facebook is out tonight. You know what? I do not have a laptop with my charts on to take there, and I'm going to be on at 4, and Facebook's going to report. Who's going to send me the chart of Facebook? Oh, you can't because I'm going to be, I don't know what time I want. Somebody, I need someone to send me Facebook's, I need someone to send me Facebook's post-market earnings chart tonight after 4. I don't know my hit time. I need to know that before I go live on the air. Someone, can someone do that for me? Because I don't have anything on my laptop, and it's crappy anyways. I need a new laptop. Um, who can handle that for me? Who could do me that favor? Cake. eBay is tonight. Okay, let's write all these down. eBay's out tonight. Anything that would be important to know. eBay, Facebook, anything that might move the market tonight. I'm going to write it down. eBay, Facebook, Ford Motor. LVFs, the casinos are tonight. PayPal's tonight. There's like one trillion things tonight. Visa's tonight. It's not close to Facebook. Cheesecake Factory. AT&T, I think those are the ones that are important. CMG, I didn't see that on the list, let's look at it. Uh, yes, you're right, you are correct. CMG is tonight, it has no volume in it today. All right, listen, any questions from anyone about anything? All in all, good day. Here goes, when is setting up again? You could reshort it. You could reshort this here if you feel like getting crazy at a ready hit. But I really would keep the stop actually over the high. So 186.75, you want to reshort it here. It's a bigger stop. You'd be doing this only because you think it's going to break 180. Green Maverick, can you please do me that favor tonight? After Facebook reports, which should be quite right after the open, will you please email me the post-market chart on the 15 minute of Facebook? I want to see what that looks like, and I and actually the fact that and eBay and Visa, Visa, eBay and Facebook are the ones that are important because Visa is a bank and the banks have been looking horrific. If you could, that would be amazing if you could help me out there. Thank you, Green Maverick. Just send me the 15-minute post-market chart of Visa, eBay, and Facebook. Look at this. This chart has never looked worse. <gasps> oh. 15-minute chart. After hours. Here. I'm going to email you right now. Patricio. I hit times 420. I just got it. I just got my topic. All right. Um, I need Visa. Facebook. You may as well send me PayPal too. eBay. Oh, you may as well send me, send me Chip Holter. 15 minute after hours charts. I need. Everybody should be up. Koala bear, I might be good at that, but today I was not, and I thought that was obvious. But you really got to be looking at your own charts. You really got to look at your own charts. And whenever we're trading something with a price point, and this is just an FYI, anytime this is the normal room participants, anytime we're doing something where the price point is more than 100, you better, you better, look, you better look at the chart yourself. 
I mean, sometimes some people can't take the trade because the risk is too much, where it would be spread out over where you couldn't even take a 100 share lot. You really got to watch these when they're expensive. You must. And the days I've even called the market, it's very expensive, the spiders, I mean. You've got to be looking at your charts the same as me and seeing it. And I mean, there's no rush to get in these, really, because of the fact that the stops are so wide. I mean, when the stop's a dollar, two dollars, or three dollars, or whatever, I mean, the difference between a 10 cent fill and a 20 cent fill is negligible. So you're doing it to get the move and to get money, and we got quick out today. And some people got a bigger move in this, but it was acting very wildly. And I knew I had to be done early today, and I'm glad that I did. I kind of wish that I would have done tear, but I got set off by the fact that it opened late, and this could have made a John Mungo view move up before it broke. It could have made a John Mungo move. In fact, this here, this is setting up again. You could do it right here and put a stop at 36.75. That will hold you in for a while. If somebody wanted to reshort this, 36.75. Again, that's not small. That's not small either. And I don't normally give anything but the pennies, but in reference to the, the win, it's the same thing. I'm trying to spit out as many numbers as I can, as quick as I can, so that people can get the trades. It's a mouthful to say 180, you know. I mean, it's just a mouthful to say all that. I, have, I don't make a habit of saying it's more than a dollar. If I've done it before, I've done it, I've had time. Here, this is going again. And if it breaks a low, it's gonna rock and roll. 32 would be an insane number for this. 33 is even realistic there. Even if this breaks again, if this breaks 35 before, it's 10.02. If this breaks a low in here this morning, tear, and continues to run down, 33 is something, 33 whatever, is not unlikely today before lunch. That's crazy, this was a good gap. But because I had things to do today and nothing was screaming amazing, I'm really glad that I did what I did. No chart. There was nothing to see. I was just talking, Barry, because I'm not doing this again. I mean, I'm not doing this at all. I didn't do it, but it, I called it. I said it would work. The two things I like today worked. There you have it. And that's how you do it. Thank you, Green Maverick. Um... Hopefully, you, you can redo this here, Koala Bear. If you didn't make the profits back to the loss that you took in the win with the incorrect stop, if you just scalp this here and are still down, you could redo this here. You're going to be in it for a while. You're going to be in it for a little bit, but you could scalp this one too. And Mimi, maybe those expensive ones you don't do until you get used to trading. You Maybe these expensive ones you don't do. But I do think you have to start doing the options. And you had some of these trades and you just didn't do them. Um, here, IBM, no one's in this. No one's in this at all. And this looks really good too. All right, listen, I gotta go. Have a great day, everyone. We'll get something tomorrow. I don't know what it is. Watch Facebook tonight. It should be very exciting. Watch me on TV if you're gonna be around. 4.20 is my head time. And then I'm on Charles Payne at six o'clock. Brad, did you know, learn how to put stops in? You're not answering, so I'm guessing no. You really gotta get that right. All right, have a good day, everyone. See you tomorrow.